twos is a four. And 20, 30 points. So that's 30, so just take 30 off three nines. We are live, people. We are live. There's nobody in there. I know. We're waiting for people to join. Waiting for people to get in here. You know what? Because I messed like they give us two different streams. I hate when that happens. Because if you make it on your phone, you can only do it on your phone, which makes no no sense whatsoever. All right, we got we got a couple people in here now. What's going on, people? Say hello when you enter the room. We're rocking the new Camaro K merch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. We're back. We're back. Put this down here. Camaro K shirts. If you got yours, definitely let us know as well. We got decals, we got pins, we got mouse pads, we got everything. The mouse pad actually came out really good. Got our logo on it. What's going on, peeps? We're talking about what we got coming up next weekend. Big, big interview next weekend. And uh, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, definitely let us know. Because we're headed that way. We're going to Mars. We're going to Mars, literally. Not the planet. Not the planet, though. <clears throat> Just the city. <laughs> or town. Whatever it is. But want to hear what's going on with Camaro. How all the numbers are going to be coming out once production ends. Um <clears throat> How my dealership is getting one of the last cars um, getting that's getting one of the last cars. Mm-hmm. Sorry, guys, we got guests. We got guests over there. Family Garcia is in the house. Um, but yeah, so my dealership will be getting one of the last cars to come off the line. Um, Sold unit, LT1 car, like we've been saying. Uh, LT1 cars are getting built at the end, so if you do have an LT1 order in the system uh, that's got to accept it, don't be upset if your car hasn't gotten built yet because they're waiting to the end to build LT1 models. So that's that. ZL11 LEs getting built at the end because um, the 24 ZL11 LE is a thing. So that's awesome. Uh I know. Look at we got Camaro Cave merch, peeps. We're really excited about it. Plus, everyone loves this hat. Official Camaro, official GM. But yeah, if you guys uh, are waiting for your car to, to come in, we would love to love to know and love to hear it. Uh, so definitely a, a bonus on that end. Uh, Well, we want to know who's joining our page. So if you guys are out there and you're watching, the, the comment section is live. Uh, two days left. Two days left of the merch. Uh, 15% off of all of our Camaro Cave merch. Uh, I will post the link for you guys as well. We do appreciate all the love and support. Um, and we're already like going through our calendar for next month. Uh, I'm ne- not next month, started. next year. Uh, we started. We started it. So <clears throat> if you guys want to know what's going on for next year and the shows that we're going to hit, we're already building our calendar and uh, trying to see as many people as we can. So if you have a show near you that you absolutely love and you just think we have to be at it, then um, let us know. Hit us up. Tell us where it's at. We'll try to work it in. We'll try to work it in, and uh, hopefully we'll bring our panther with us. Um, so, yeah. 
we will pin that. If it's super far away, we might show up with one that has like, um, you know, budget rental on it. or something. <laughs> We might just show up with one. Uh, also, what's really cool, if you guys are just joining us, <clears throat> this came today. Check this out. And this is not a poster. This is actual. I don't know if you can hear that. That is cardboard. Official General Motors. And that is our car. That's our car. That's our car. That's our car. So we're excited about it. Um, our car is still getting built the week of the 20th of this month. So November 20th week, our car Let's is going that. into line. Right. Yeah. Definitely want to save that because we have a lot of signatures <clears throat> to get on that. Uh, we're pretty excited about it. Uh, oh, we should bring that for this weekend. Isn't there a ZL1 too? We do have a ZL1. Do you guys want to see the ZL1? I got a ZL1 of those too. If you want to see the ZL1, post in the comments and just say you want to see the ZL1 because that one's sound. pretty special. We might be willing to get that one given away. We do have a bunch of stuff we're going to be giving away too. Um, oh, yeah. Where's that stack of? I have a stack of 2024 Camaro color swatches that we're going to be signing and giving away uh hello from canada i'm enjoying what you guys do keep it up appreciate it jay thank you so much so would you be willing to let the z01 one go since it's not really our car i don't know I you guys want to see the oh, i'll get the z01 i know but are you willing to like give it up to i don't know it's upside guys. down. I know. I know. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh. These people. We got a lot of these. Look at these. All these. We're we're gonna give these away. Okay, guys. We're gonna we're gonna give these away. These are fun. You're gonna take it out of the plastic, or you can just show it, it upside the plastic. down. I'll take it out of the plastic. So that's the front. 2024 official uh, GM. All the color swatches on the inside, and there's interior exterior. And then the stats on the back and stuff. Yes, hundred percent. They're really nice. They're nice and glossy. What are you doing? Putting up the. Uh, so we have a little stack of these. We have a whole stack of them, guys. If you guys so want. This is them. like memorabilia. Yes, and Camaro cave shirts. You might have to give these away. We're gonna sign those, and then this bad boy. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it. This so is this is same not thing, a poster, guys. This is one. official General Motors merchandise. This this came. And that's that's the first image marketing. to the public GM marketing uh, of the ZL1 Collector's Edition, which we hope to get signed very shortly um, by a couple important people. So we're excited about that. Let me get one of those. <laughs> yeah, Carl. I know. Congrats on the car. Hope you're loving it. Uh, I know we haven't gotten to all your comments. We've kind of been kind of busy. We have like 60 comments to so answer. Give this um, one, we, we might give the ZL1. I might give but the you have to, I feel like you have to own a ZL1, you have to own a ZL1 collector's edition to get the ZL1 collector's edition. And if we get it signed for you um, by some important people who designed the car, um, then maybe it'll be worth it. Um, also, Camaro boy, my dealer called. My car is expected to be delivered 12 to nice delivered or built. So, delivered to the dealership or built the week of 12 to Camaro boy. Uh, I'm guessing your car was already built, yeah, um, because that was the one that, yeah, because you emailed, you emailed us, yep. Yeah, yep, emailed yep, us. yep, yep. So, that's awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. you're gonna get your car right before Christmas. Well, I guess, or I guess we're going to get our car before Christmas, too. But our car hasn't been built yet. So we're okay. excited about it. Okay. If you guys have any questions, the, the comment section is open. We definitely want to answer some. We're going to keep keep tonight's video a little short. We're not going to go too we far. Should do a contest. We should do a contest for that. For, that. Mm -hmm. for ZL1, ZL1 Panther Collector's Edition owners. And we can get it, like, custom signed to whoever wins the contest. We can get it custom signed and by the... Hopefully the designer himself. That would be cool. That would be cool. I mean, I can make some phone calls. We we'll should see. What should? What kind of contest should we do? That's all your. That's your battleground. <gasps> I know what we should do. We should make them send us like Camaro Cave mug. 
No, they're not going to send us a Camaro Cave mug. No, but I'm showing you off. Delivered to my dealer. I'm excited. You should be, Camaro Boy. We're excited for you. 100%. 100%. And definitely when you get your car, we want to see pictures. We want to see video. Send it to us. Again, we're trying to answer everyone's... Best picture and write-up. Of, like, their story? You want to get detailed with this? Yeah. Huh? Best picture and write-up to go with it. Yeah. Hmm. What do you hmm. think? Should we should we wait till like the end of production? Or well, yeah, because we should wait till the end of production, right? Let everybody get there. So if you all know, if you all didn't hear already, the end of production is the last week. Well, the first week of December. Yeah, December fourth week is the <clears> last <throat> week of production, and the last car is coming off the line, December seventh, nineteen forty one, the day which will live in infamy. Well, it'll be twenty twenty four, obviously, but uh, another day. That is going to be upsetting. Oh, uh, yeah, guys. Um, we, I did pin two days left of our 15% off site-wide at our shop. Um, <clears throat> any support, we love it. We really appreciate it. And we are going to be making it out to other people's <sighs> states to do interviews. So if you haven't seen, we've already went to Ohio. Um, we dropped the video of the first ever collector's edition convertible. So we were excited about that. <laughs> um, and we also dropped a video, um, at one of our subscribers, uh, houses, Paul, he, he has an amazing collection. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, he had a 2024 nitro yellow car, SS1 LE. Um, and he had a beautiful 74 Camaro <laughs> second gen. And um, one of my favorite cars, 16 SS. That was, it's not magnesium. I know some people are like, you said magnesium. It's Magnuson supercharger. Okay. So I stand corrected. Um, so we're excited about that. Um, how many of those do we got? Give me one. She's counting them for you guys because uh, we're going to be doing a little. You have 18 of them, guys. So 18 color swatches for 2024. 18 to give away. So I showed them already. I'm going to show them again. Well, don't bend them. Yeah. So here, here it is, official General Motors. You can't actually <laughs> get these. Um, some dealerships don't even order these things anymore. Um, and then inside you have all the colors, including Panther black metallic. It says tin coat, but we all know that's wrong. It's a tri coat paint. Um, and also got the new black Panther matte, uh, and the new riptide blue, which my sister store, um, is actually getting one. My sister store is getting a Riptide Blue 2SS this week. So we're hope, hoping to go over there and take a video of it um, and bring it to you guys so you can see the color in person. Uh, those are gold in a few years. That's what we're hoping, David, but we're going to give them away to you guys. They're going to um, be more than gold because we're going to get them signed. Yeah, and ours are going to get signed by some very important people. Um, so <laughs> stay tuned for that. Um, we're excited to show you guys what's coming next on the cave. What are we doing this weekend? So this is like our first weekend home. Um, obviously you've been watching, we've been moving all over the place. We aren't doing Jack school. I'm staying home and decorating. No, I'm talking about next weekend. You said this weekend. No, oh, well, she's already getting all Christmas out. This place is going to be looking like Christmas time. Halloween's down. Halloween's already down. We took that down yeah. today. <clears throat> um, so we're getting ready for... Christmas and hopefully our car will be here by then. So we're still looking for a place to store it. Um, anyone want to store our Panther? Don't be yes. stupid. Don't, don't be stupid. Anyone want to store our Panther? Um, so, but yeah. So that's the thing. Um, ZL and one of these are, are starting to go to production. Um, we've been giving out locations. If you haven't watched the last couple of videos of all of the ZL1 one of these, all the LT1 collector's edition cars. Um, there's actually, I obviously went through the numbers of how many collector's edition break down between the trim levels. Leave the keys. Leave the keys. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. So we are able to like look how many cars are coming. There's one trim level that's only getting one car. 
and it's pretty crazy. Um, so, and obviously we don't know if anybody ordered that car. Um, so we can't say for certain if they're only building that one car, but there is one trim level. They're only building one collector's edition of, and it's insane. That car is going to be worth some money. Kind of crazy when you think about it, especially when you think about the numbers that were falsely reported out there of them making 2000 cars for collector's edition. Cause it's going to be way less way less than 2,000 cars um, from every all the numbers that we went over. So it's going to be less, especially for some trim levels, it's going to be less than the ZL1 Collector's Edition, which obviously we know they're only building 350 cars. Um, so that'll be exciting. And the final number should be coming out, you know, before the end of the year. So that will be really cool. But what are we doing next weekend? Next weekend, we're going to bring Scott Settlemeyer to you. We're going to be live from his home. Yep. We're going to be driving all the way to Mr. Settlemeyer. All the way to Mars. Fires. Yeah, literally. Uh, so we told you we'd bring you guys that. It's already up on our streamed upcoming event. Make sure you have your bell notifications on um, and be ready to watch because we're basically just, just the outlet. You guys get to ask <clears throat> the great FBOD father who spent his entire life dedicated to General Motors. Um your questions. Whatever you want to ask him. And we're going to ask him the big question, like, why Panther? Where did the Panther name come from? Because a lot of people don't know the story. And we're actually trying to get in contact with someone who knows the full story. Um, so stay tuned because we're going to do a whole interview with, with that person as well. That's coming up with us. Um, so, yeah. If, if everyone doesn't know the whole story of Panther, we have someone that has some great connections to that story. And I'm sure Mr. Settlemeyer will have his own answers um, as well. Why is your car outside? Where do you live, Carl? My 2012 is under the car cover outside for the first time in 12 years. Because his new 24 is inside. He just got a 24 Panther. He sent us the pictures of it. Okay, if you guys just got your car, if you're getting your car, um, I'll post the email for you guys here. Uh, send us an email with all of your specs. Um, that's the Camaro Cave at gmail.com. Very easy. Um, we want to see your car. We want to showcase your car, and we're going to be doing more members' videos as these uh, winter is starting to arrive. So now that we have more free time and we're not traveling, all over the country to see these um, What's tired, to see tired much? I, I know, I'm just... What state are you in, Carl? What state are you in, Carl? Feel free. Oh, and if you guys have any questions, we'll answer them <clears throat> live here in the comments, so post them up, because that's what we're here for. I'm showing off this beautiful merchandise. We got ladies wear, we got men wear, we got shorts. We got sweatpants now. We got stickers. We got, stickers. We got bill. We got vinyl. Stickers. We have five packs of pins with our logo on it. We got hats. Obviously, this is not ours, but this is a very collectible hat right now. He's in North Carolina. It is cold there now. Yeah, but it's not going to snow. Not yet. North Carolina. Hopefully. North Carolina. North Carolina, it snows. Do you get snow where you are? Tell me it's not going to be sitting in the snow. It's better than this 24 sitting in the snow. I mean, that, that one's a little bit more expensive. No, but and more collectible. in the snow. I mean, come on now. Y'all passed my exit on the way to Myrtle Beach. He's by the beach. Remember, he's he, he, was, he was reaching out to us while we were driving. He's he's by the beach. He's not going to get snow. Are you going? You're not going to get snow, right? He's going to get snow. He's not going to get snow. Yeah, he will. He's not going to get snow. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get snow, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of snow. No, no snow. Yeah. It snows sometimes, see? Yep. Oh. Well, so. That's Camaro abuse. <laughs> that's a Camaro abuse. You need to get, like, a carport, man. Like, you need to get, like, a neighbor, man. I love y'all. This woman, D. This woman. This woman. 
Oh, so my birds are playing the Dallas Cowboys this week. Nobody I mean, cares about your birds. I care about my birds. Maybe his tar. Some of these his... people are near Philadelphia. And, and they're tar. trying to like. I don't your care birds? about his car. He cares about his car. His tar is in the snow. And you're worried about your birds? I have been here since 2015. Ain't seen no snow yet. I'm in North Carolina. But he's seen no snow in North Carolina. Hmm. See, no snow. You get a dusting or like frost. Did, when have you been to North Carolina? I've driven through North Carolina. Bengals on Sunday night. Okay. See, no. we're, we're here at football. It's football season. Camaro Cave. Camaro that doesn't cave say football with cave. side of football. No, there's no all side right. of football. Because my, my birds are going all the way. We'll be in the Super Bowl again Your this year. birds mm-hmm. got their feathers beat. She She's a Chiefs fan. Just saying. She, at least she's not like one of those Swifties. Just saying. No, I don't care. She's not that. a Swiftie, though. You know, <clears throat> but those prices now. Um, okay, the garage people who I want to build a garage out back in three months. Okay, D says, I'm um, in Fayetteville, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Well, thank you for joining the channel. Uh, feel free, make sure you guys, guys subscribe. We got a bunch of content coming for you. Obviously, when our car comes as well. <gasps> We're so close to a thousand. We are so close to a thousand subscribers. A thousand All right, let's see how close to a thousand we are, guys. Because we keep posting stuff to try to get more subscribers. We're at nine hundred and thirty-four subscribers, guys. We literally need sixty-six more subscribers to hit that thousand mark um, and start <clears throat> and start getting some content out there to the masses. Um, obviously, YouTube <clears throat> pulls us back a little bit, so we just we want to get there. For you guys, your birds beat my fins. <sighs> yeah, it was. It was. It was. Uh, it was actually not that close. I thought it was gonna be a lot closer. Uh, we'll see you in, in the Vegas at the dance. Well, hopefully, Tariq Hill will be healthy at that time. Uh, but he's playing his old team this weekend. Uh, it's, yes, Tony is a Chiefs fan. So imagine the Super Bowl last year, like house divided. That's right. You know, I mean, I thought we had it at halftime, but one fumble, one fumble. Do you think a a Gen 7 Camaro will be like the 2024 Charger and have both gasoline? Hmm. That's a very good question, Alan. Four doors? Is that what you mean? So there's speculation that Charger is going to come back with a... um, Gas powered engines right now because there there was a photograph of the body of a Challenger that was claiming that it was going to be electric, but now they've just announced that like it's going to be gas. Um, that's just dumb people though, like making pictures. That's not anything real, right? No, it's a real thing. It's Who, a real thing. Who's a real thing? Charger's coming back. Oh, Charger, but that's not yeah. a Camaro with four doors. No, 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 no. There's a lot of fake Camaro images. So <clears throat> when it comes to seventh generation Camaro, if a big if, if there's going to be a seventh generation Camaro, because GM left the door open, right? And they said, you know, when the car returns, if the car returns. But if you're just looking at like how long it takes for a car <clears throat> to get built, it's five to seven years, five to seven years for a car to become an idea, get molded, literally go through emissions testing. And if we're talking about five to seven years, like we're not going to see a, a new Camaro until 2028, 2029. If that, if that's if they put it and that's together, a, and now. that's a big, that's a big if because do, are they going to have the people that work for General Motors that haven't retired yet to still care about the car enough to, to have the passion of the team that brought you the fifth gen and sixth gen, <clears throat> which most of them are retired. Most of them have moved on and are on a team. It's a whole whole new do- different type of people. I mean, Al Oppenheiser, the great Al Oppenheiser, literally the chief engineer of Camaro, and now works on a Hummer. So, <clears throat> I, I mean, it's a good chance of having a hybrid. But if if Camaro does, and that'll be a good question for you guys to ask Scott Settlemeyer because I'm sure he'll have an answer 
kind of similar to ours, but I would love to know his his answer. And you guys can ask him that directly next week, uh, next weekend. So stay tuned for that Saturday. 11, 11, 11, 11 at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Our Time. time. So make okay. sure you guys are like ready Don't for that. Don't forget to set your clocks. Oh yeah, clocks go back. When does the clocks go back? Tonight? Mm -hmm. Clocks go back tonight, apparently. Saturday. Saturday? Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Mama Garcia's over there. She's answering questions. Mama Garcia has a Camaro too. She does. She's got a beautiful Camaro. Maybe she should be a guest on the show. I mean, we're like doing a podcast now. I mean, that's that's kind of what it is. She has a beautiful, beautiful. She has a rare Wild Cherry design package two car uh, that I I built the way that I would want it. And obviously her favorite color is, is the red. So she's, how many Camaros is that now for, now for you, Mom? Three. Three. She's on her third Camaro or, or her third since the fifth gen. She had a 2012. Yeah. She had 2016, and now she's got a 2021. Um, so it's like every couple of years I upgrade her. <laughs> um, but yeah, but you know what? The, the Radiant Red's not like the Wild Cherry. The Wild Cherry is really nice um, with gray interior. Gray Same interior, interior guys. Cause you know how much I keep spewing how rare that is because you can't really find a gray <laughs> interior on most of these cars. And there's only a couple Panther cars that are getting the gray interior. So if you haven't seen those, those videos, it's going to be a rare car. But we we actually did the breakdown of the interiors to the exteriors and all the colors. Um, so go check out some of our videos. But yeah, if the Camaro does come back, to finally answer your question, Alan. I mean, there is a platform out there that General Motors already has that could sustain the EV hybrid connection, and it would be the uh, Corvette E-Ray. Um, or, I mean, in my personal opinion, the name shouldn't be E-Ray um, because people think that's fully electric, and that's not the case. They should have just called it a Grand Sport with all-wheel drive, and it would have been a lot better, but marketing. Um just depends on where you live, David, because there's a couple of towns up here where you can't swing a dead cat without hitting one of those. Mustangs. Yeah, there's a, there's so many Mustang Machis around here. Um, it's a little crazy. Um, but <clears throat> Ford's been selling them. Ford, I mean, like, I think last last year they sold over 50,000 of them, which actually beat Mustang, I mean, uh, Camaro and um, what do you call it? Charger and, and Challenger. Um, which is kind of crazy to think about. But, um, you know, they just put their Mustang name on a four-door electric sedan, um, electric SUV to sell the car and sell the brand. And it worked. It worked. It is ugly, though. I mean, I try to like them all, but that's not a Mustang. No. no. But, yeah, so if Camaro does come back with the seventh generation, it'll probably be on, like, the E-Ray platform. Um, so we're going to keep the faith. We're hoping that Camaro will return um, and hopefully have a gas powered engine with the hybrid um, engine. So, I mean, if we're talking the Camaro now has 455 horsepower, 455 feet pound of torque on the SS. <laughs> so if they have a hybrid, it should easily be at 500 horse uh, if they do that. Let us know what you think in the comments. Like, what do you think would be the next? I mean, if you just look internally and see what GM already has out there, because GM always, the Camaro has always been the little brother of Corvette. So whatever Corvette did, Camaro followed. And it's always been that way. Because um, Camaro could not beat Corvette. They wouldn't, they, obviously the CEOs wouldn't allow that to happen. Um, it's always been a game. But the se sixth generation was a big change. They, they didn't expect the ZL1, and they didn't expect the ZL1 1LE just to destroy and, like, be so good on the Nürburgring and on the tracks, right? So they outdid themselves, and that's why it's literally the king of the castle. And when we did our video, The Return of the King, um, I mean, that's what, that's what we meant because they're building 2024 ZL1 1LEs, and they're only building 25 of them, and five of them have manual transmissions. So if you get one of those cars... You have a rare car, my friend. Yes, you do. We're going on a half hour here. 
So we'll, we'll keep this going for a couple more minutes. But uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free. We also pinned two days left of our merch sale. We finally got our merch in. Um, and it's up top. Feel free. How much does Mag Ride improve the ride? Oh, it's night and day. If you've never been in a Camaro with Mag Ride, and you, especially if you're a female, and take a boobs, girl for a ride with you and ask her. Yeah. Yeah. It's a huge difference. And not only because you have the Mag Ride, <laughs> but because you have the mode selector and you can adjust your Mag Ride to, the, to each mode. Um, so people don't r really recognize that. Um, some people just get in the car and drive, right? So you're driving in tour mode or sport mode. Um, most of it, it's life. Uh, but if you really go into like track mode or even snow and ice, <laughs> I always use snow and ice mode in the rain. Huge difference. Throttle response, handling of the car, suspension of the car, um, literally feel uh, out of the steering wheel. Huge difference when you use the mode selector. Conceived in a '68. I he he has a '93 Z, a '93 pace car. Nice, nice. He has a '97 SLP SS. SLP was from New Jersey, by the way, right here in the Garden State. Just saying. Um, I actually was invited into the New York Auto Show from SLP, and that's how I got my 2010 in the New York Auto Show. My 2010's Shamrock has been in the New York Auto Show for th three times so far. So we'll see if we can get one of our other cars in the New York Auto Show this year. Um, it's coming up, but uh, that takes a lot. It's a lot. Uh, you're to, your car has to sit there for two weeks. Um, so We're trying to find somebody who was born in a Camaro, like didn't make it to the hospital. Conceived is the closest, though. That is, I think that's the closest we've heard so far. That's awesome, Camaro boy. Thanks for being a part of the channel. Camaro Cave. You got the red inside. What was the couple? What was red the on couple the outside. That we Just met? like our Panther. It's going to be black. What was the couple that we with met? With red interior. That, couple we like, met? They both have Camaros. He had the Camaro. And then the first gen, the first gen, we yeah. did the, we did the interview with the um, we were at Myrtle Beach for F Body yeah. Beach Bash. They conceived their child, they conceived, in it, I think. Yeah, and something like that. They both they both dated, well, since high school, and he had a Camaro, and then it was just fate. It's pretty cool. And they got that Camaro back. They got the Camaro back. Like and they sold just, it, and, they, they and, they, it, and then they and they restored it the whole car. Yeah, we actually did an interview. It's in our <clears> playlist of Camaro owners. So if you want to check that out. To it's in the that file. started my search for somebody born in Camaro. Yeah, we're gonna find that person. I'm gonna find that person. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to find. It'll be somebody from the 70s. Yeah, 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 probably. Yeah, third gen. Yeah, it'll be a third gen. Third gen, somebody will have been born in a third gen. Yeah, thought they could make it to the hospital and didn't. Yeah, yeah, it's just like a, I mean, it just sounds like a third gen story. Yeah, yeah. If you guys have any questions regarding 2024 <clears throat> model year, post them in the comments. Um, we're definitely answering all of them. And we'll get to these people's emails. We had a whole bunch of emails we need to get through. There wasn't a whole lot of room in a 68. No, it wasn't. Uh, will you ever... Your conception was a feat, sir, just so you know. <laughs> David says, will you ever get enclosed... I guess it says car trailer car hauler or drive to events well we drew right now we've been driving to all of our had events one. she had a car hauler and it crushed her um well, it didn't i mean i, I mean one. technically it did um but it put her in the hospital um at camaro fest at camaro fest she was she was done drag racing and she got crushed by her car hauler um it was she was stuck in between her car hauler and her car literally Three times. Three times. Yep. Yeah, that wasn't fun. It was not a good day. Rushed right to the hospital. Yep. I got a nice little ambulance ride. Yeah. A couple days in the hospital. But then she came back to Camaro <laughs> Fest come from back. the hospital. <laughs> I, I and took people myself like, out. You're, you're crazy. Like You should still be in the hospital. There's but nothing like, they could do for me, so you I know took what? myself Com out. You can't stay away from Camaro Fest. If you guys want it, like, you need to come out to Camaro that Fest. That is one event we will be at. We will be at Camaro Fest. We're kind of like host judges 
for Camaro Fest. But when we're gonna be coming, we're gonna actually like break the, the news of Camaro Fest soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, and if you guys want to come into the event, it's gonna be great. There's gonna be so many Panthers this year, this year, uh, well, this upcoming year that are gonna be there um, in Bowling Green, Kentucky. It's normally in July, so just keep an eye out. But we'll be announcing Camaro Fest. Uh, what Camaro Fest is? Is fourteen? 13, 14. Hmm, I, lost One of those. I know we've, we've been to so many literally and it used to travel all across the country, but um, now it's just, uh, it's been in Bowling Green for the last six or seven years. And I've been to every single one in Bowling Green. What happened to the welcome kit that GM was supposed to be including with the car and the dark display? Well, yeah. <laughs> so Carl, um, you are going to get a welcome kit, but it comes direct. You don't get it from the dealership at all. Um, it comes directly from General Motors in a couple days because you just got your car. General Motors will be sending you an email asking you for your contact information. Um, and you're going to have to put it in. Actually, I think I still have pictures of what that email looks like. Let me get them for you. Chevy, can you get my Yeti? Get my Yeti. Get my Yeti. Get my Yeti. Over there. Your Yeti? Oh, yeah. Peas and Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Apple juice. Carl Jackson just sent. Oh, Carl Jackson just sent pictures of his house with snow. North, <laughs> North Carolina. North Carolina. Carl Jackson. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Carl Jackson, right there. First of all, this is Carl Jackson's car. I just want to show them off here on the on the page. Look at that Panther. Look at that beautiful Panther SS coupe. That's Carl Jackson right in the comments, guys, sending us live, and we're going to share all his videos. And if you guys want us to share your car, send it send it your our way. Email it to us, the Camaro Cave at gmail.com. Thank you guys for all you do. We appreciate that, Camaro Boy. So let me show you what the – since you're if for all those that are getting the Panther. That was a snap. Oh, let's know. Um, there, you're going to get an email from General Motors. And mm -hmm. in the email from General Motors, there's actually going to be a questionnaire uh, that you need to fill out. Now, obviously, you want proof that you're buying the car, that you bought the car, right? Because um, it's not going out to everybody. Um, it's a welcome kit with a couple posters. Uh, they're supposed to be including something else, too. But the watch, the watch is only for ZL1. So, wow owners specifically so that is not going to be for everybody but the welcome kit you'll be getting a little something something and a couple posters uh ch -ch -ch -ch. <clears throat> where is the picture i'm looking for the picture guys of the email uh ch -ch -ch. yeah so that's exciting uh and our car is getting built at the end of this month Oh, here we go. So here, here's what the email is going to look like. And it's going to ask you to submit your information. Submit your information with a picture of the ZL1 Collector's Edition uh, and, a, and a little blurb there. And then once you do hit, this, hit the uh, submit button, it'll come back with, with this little sentence and it says thank you for completing the camaro collector's edition form your gift will be sent to you within 60 days so there you go guys there's your answer there's 60 your answer days of the completion of whatever that was and who had the who had the answer first i mean everything we've ever said about 2024 camaro has been exactly accurate and true and we've only brought you guys the most accurate information. Otherwise, we wouldn't have said it um, because we don't like fake news and bringing you guys just all the fake stuff that's been out there, um, especially the one, the new Malibu, 2025 Malibu that looks like a Camaro. People need to stop. And the Chevelle's not coming back, okay? They're not bringing the Chevelle back. Like, <clears throat> cut it out. Um <coughs> I made the cheese porch sign that Tonya can have when you guys pass by exit again. Yep, we'll be going to um, F Body Beach Bash next year too. That's always a great show, guys, in South Carolina. Um, if you haven't made it out, there was 
there's probably going to be a lot of Panthers there this, this upcoming uh, season. So we're excited about that. But we're already booking hotels. If you guys haven't and you guys don't understand, like – We've already booked two hotel rooms at the host hotels at two car shows. The um, Kamau Nationals in, in PA, Morgantown, PA. And then and that hotel is like almost full. Like if you want to go, you need to get on it. Um, and then and, and last year there was over 700 Camaros at that show. It was insane. Um, and then Camaro. Oh. 30th anniversary fall classic in Ohio at summit mm -hmm. racing it is the 30th year they've done this car show. It's our favorite show to go to. Um, and we'll be there as well. I mean, this is my, one of my favorite shows to go to in Ohio with Morgan, uh, which also, I mean, if you haven't seen the interview with Morgan, he had the first ever SS uh, collector's edition convertible and it's amazing. <sighs> Who cares about that right now? I do. That's not even a lot of snow. That's like nothing. It's a dusting. We, 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 we drove through more of that. So, yeah. So, we're excited about it. Um, if you're sending us emails, we are going to be getting to them. And we do have a bunch of comments to still get to. Um, and if you're looking for a car, if you're still looking for a car, I've been getting a bunch of people that are still interested in Panthers. There are many out there, um, and we can certainly help you guys out. If you check our membership here in the, our YouTube channel, um, there's a couple of different levels of membership, RS, SS, and ZL1. Uh, so if you guys want that, um, you can go on to our ZL1 membership, and we can help you find a car. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now, Raul, December 7th is the last day that they make them in the factory. December 7th will be another day that lives in infamy as Camaro will come to an just end. To say that. I mean, it is historic. You just wanted to say that. It's historic. You're and saying it's going to be historic for another reason because Camaro is going away again for the second time. The last car will go down the line December 7th, 2023 for Camaro. And we were trying to be there. We're trying to go there. We're trying to be at the factory while the last car comes down the line. So if we can get to a thousand <laughs> subscribers, that will certainly help us. So share our page, make sure you guys hit that like button so we can bring you inside of the factory and show you the last car coming down the line. We're trying. We, we got email emails out, to some important people. So we're trying to make that happen so that you guys can see history in the making. We're trying. We're trying. Now that's going to be another sad day. We're trying. It's like we might take off work for that day. I mean, if we, especially if we go, we're taking off work, obviously. Ooh. But <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, oh, Camaro Cave merch, guys. We finally got it. It's arrived. A lot more people saying they're got, they've got it as well. It's actually pretty high quality. Um, and we through, did through the looms. Through the looms. Uh, they make your unders. Yeah. Mm. Also, email if you have any signs. Or cards and to send stuff to sponsor your channel when I go to my car shows. Okay. What? what? He what? he wants some promotional items so that he can show our channel off, like cards. We send a couple of our. We do have we do have Camaro Cave business cards. We where, do. where are those? Over there. We're over there. I'll grab them. They're on the on my desk. Okay. One second. I think they're in the... Tony can talk. Sure. We got 15 people watching. We got 16 people watching. Yo, smash that like button. Come on, show us some love. Can you stop? stop. Show us some love. You, you, you see that card, right? How do you make this so that you can? I hate that heart. <sighs> I can't read. Ellen's. So this is the back of our card. Obviously, has has our logo on it. That's the front. No, that's the back, and this is the front. That's the back. Well, either or. So obviously, you can just have people scan this, and it goes right to our YouTube channel. Um, and we have a whole bunch of <laughs> socials. If you haven't followed us, oh, also, goodness. we are on Instagram, and our Facebook is um, going to be coming shortly. Hi, but, Glenn. Um, 
Mr. Glenn's here. What's up, Glenn? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Glenn is our Glenn is our tw our twin, so he he has the exact car that we're getting. Uh, we're getting. Almost. It'll be a couple couple Almost. differences, but Glenn's car is better. Yeah, Glenn. This Glenn's got a manual. Glenn's car is better. Ours is, ours is gonna have ten speed. I just want the, I want the faster car. Let's be realistic. Glenn's car is better. It's all about that driver mod, right, Glenn? Glenn's car is better. Oh, check it out. We got <clears throat> we have mouse pads. Camaro Cave mouse pads. Sorry. Actually, really good. It came out really well. What up, one? Uh, I'm glad my car came as a uh, as a 2023. Yeah, it was, it was cheaper. Uh, yes. So the 2023 models were cheaper. <clears throat> um, they obviously GM knew that it was going to be the final year of Camaro, so they could raise the prices, of course. But also it's supply and demand and. Um, parts at the factory um mm -hmm. have been on constraint so obviously you're seeing a bunch of cars show up without certain parts um so that's a thing and we'll be getting into that hopefully when our car arrives um so stay tuned for that because we have some i guess it's exclusive news that we've been holding on to for a while um but we're not going to say anything until our car shows up so that's that what could it be just have to wait. You just have to wait and see. Can't give everything away. We can't. Can't give everything away, guys. Because we need visual aid. Visual aids are very important. But, and until our car gets here, we won't have it. Exactly. And then once it's what's really going to be cool is <clears throat> how we have we're going to have our 2016, which I got in 2015, was one of the first six gen Camaros here in the state of New Jersey and one of the first to come down the line. And now we're going to have one at 2024, one of the last cars to come down the line. Um, so we're kind of excited about it. You want a cookie? How can you advertise? See, that's how can you one. advertise the cave on YouTube? Money, David. We can, you can advertise. You, we, we can advertise our page on YouTube if we pay YouTube money. But we could also have <laughs> our subscribers like you guys um, become members of our page. That helps us out. And also in the live chat here, you'll see like three little buttons on the bottom of the right hand screen where it says add reaction, show, show your support for the cave, um, and then engage with your audience. Um, if you guys want to show support that way, you can. We greatly appreciate it. Um, obviously, we try to do things the right way for you guys and bring you the most accurate news possible. Um, and we have a lot of stuff in store. Um, obviously, we're going around across the well, around the country to bring you guys these cars. So that's not cheap and that's not free. Uh, that's all on our dime. Um, so it's kind of crazy. I like to drive. Um, I love meeting you guys, and uh, obviously we we're on here for forty eight minutes. We normally our lives are like three hours, so we like in talking to you guys and uh, answering your questions. But um, yeah, so David, I, right in the live chat, you'll see where it says uh, it's like a dollar <laughs> sign. <laughs> it literally is a dollar sign. Uh, you can do a super sticker or a super chat, and um, obviously whatever you got you want to help us out with is always greatly appreciated. Um, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, and Camaro Cave mugs because I like my coffee. She likes the tea. So we all can't be coffee drinkers, but mm -mm. it's my gold. I'm I got to have my coffee in the morning. I'm not a good person. And like caffeine. maybe my cappuccino at night. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a good person with caffeine. You need it sometimes, though. I am not very easy to handle. Oh, also, if you guys are just joining us and you haven't been here, Show them what they missed, because we got some giveaways that were uh, we were going to be getting signed and by some important really people. Excited about I'm really, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about. We just got this, guys. Look, do you guys know what that is? Because nobody else got that. That's our car, and that's not a poster, guys. Not a poster. Yeah, no. It's cardboard. It's cardboard. It's direct General Motors merchandise. Um, that's our car from the dealership. That's our car. And that's our car. That's our 
It's our turn. Except our car's going to have red interior, so it's, it's going to be more rare. You can't see the interior. That's our turn. It is our car. I know. It has a friend. Ooh, ooh, Camaro boy. Ooh, that. Camaro oh, boy with the love. We got to give Camaro boy away. some love right here. Ooh, ooh. It has a friend. I hearted it. I got to give him, give him some love. Thank you, Camaro boy. We appreciate it. It has a friend. And that has a friend because that's a ZL1, one elite. Oh, sorry, a ZL1 mm -hmm. collector's edition. Um, the first public image that GM released of the 24 collector's edition. Stuff that nobody else has had or has shown anybody. Um, so and we're, we're thinking about actually either auctioning this off or giving it away, but we are going to get it signed by some important people that. No, we're going to do a contest. We're going to do a contest, though. We're going to do a contest. She knows what she's talking about. We're going to do a contest. Hmm. Who wants to be part of the contest? And thanks so much, Cameron Boy, for your support. We really appreciate it. <clears throat> uh, so if you guys didn't know, there is a little show your support to the Cameron Key button on the bottom of the live chats. Uh, you can always do that. Uh, or you can go to our store, which is pinned at the top. Right there. Uh, last two days for all of our merch. Um, and we are actually going to be adding more 15 merch, off fifteen percent off the entire site. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. Go there, check it out. We have like over sixty different items um, for women, <clears throat> men, um, obviously mugs, pins, stickers, stickers. That that's going to go on the back of my computer. Um, and uh, oh yeah, mouse pads. Like we have accessories up the wazoo, um, shirts, shirts. They're and they're actually really, they're really comfortable. They're and we try to make things as cheap, as inexpensive for you guys as possible. We're um, really not making any money off the No, we're really merch. not. We're really not. We're just trying to get our name out there for you guys and uh, yeah. making it easy for you. And we don't mind showing. Trying to you. get those thousand view viewers. Yeah, no, we need we need to hit. We're we're so close, guys. We're let's re let's refresh the page here and check. How many we're at? We are at 933 subscribers. We lost one. Aww. Someone backed out. You made hmm. somebody mad? Apparently. They didn't like me. It's okay. Sometimes you need haters. But we just bring you guys the most accurate information. All right. Let's see. Glenn says, I got Jeep Ducks all the time. Maybe we should do a, a giveaway rubber bats for Kamara. Oh, so, so <laughs> we do have rubber bats, Glenn. I mean, we're, at, we're way ahead of you. Also, if you guys haven't been watching, there is something called sharking. Um, it's just <laughs> like jeeping, um, except people are going around with rubber sharks and sharking Camaros because the back fin and the antenna on top of the Camaro it looks like a shark fin, and, the um, and that's what I mean. I always called it a shark fin. And the so gills. and the gills on the side and of the, the fifth tens, um, it's a shark. Uh, so people are doing sharking and giving away rubber sharks. But I like them on Camaros, but she I likes like the bad idea. Bad. Clearly, I mean, I, I mean, you guys have seen our logo, right? I mean, I mean, it's, there's a, there's a big bat right here. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's there, there's a bat there. So yeah. Bats. So you might get bats by us next year. Yeah, that might be a thing. We might be going around batting cars. You might get sharked by us too. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll get sharks with bats on them. I don't know. All I hear is dollar signs. And yeah, yeah, it's a lot. So, yeah, we appreciate it, um, guys, for thanks for watching. And uh, if you guys have any <clears> questions, <throat> please feel free. Live chat is open. We will answer your questions and get back to you, of course. We do have a bunch of comments to still go through. Um, but while everybody's sharking people, if they walk back to their car and they see a bat, they'll be like, oh, Tony and Andy It's the Camaro here. cave. Tony and Andy <laughs> here. Oh, Tony touched my car. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of like surreal. Mm -mm. The response we've been getting, um, <laughs> Camaro boy, dropping the dropping the tens, man. We love we love that. <coughs> Appreciate it, my See, friend. He wants you to buy me. He wants. Cats. Is that a? I don't know what that is. It's a cat. It's it's a cat with fans. Fans. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we appreciate that, Camaro boy. Thank you so much, man. See, by Tanya, some bats. So uh, she see, can't go back cars. See, you're you're 
Your support will now allow us to buy Tokyo. So, yes. <laughs> uh, so I can go bat some cards. That's because we need you at Lansing on December 7th. I know. I know. We're trying. We really are. We would because we don't know if GM is even going to do anything. So if we <laughs> could be there and bring you guys live footage inside the factory while the last car if they comes down the even line. if they don't let us inside just being outside to watch it come out and be yeah. able to say guys that's the like, last like car. that's the last car guys and talk to some of the workers talk stuff. we want we want to talk to some of the workers we want to <laughs> be there and show you like we've been in the factory we've gone through the factory um so a lot of people don't know you're not allowed to bring cameras and mm -hmm. um any visual why we're trying really hard to get somebody in the to factory let us they may not um, when we went through last time we weren't allowed to um but it was really cool to see the sixth generation car get I was built allowed to take a couple of pictures well you were with certain people i was she she just knows people you know what i'm saying i mean it pays to know engineers i guess um but it was a great time and it, we were at the 50th rally for the, the 50th <laughs> Camaro, um, and it was at Lansing, it was right at the factory. That was an amazing event. Um, and we hope to bring you guys Lansing for a final time. Hopefully, they'll do something. They should, they really should, really should do an event. They should do an event. I mean, we, we haven't heard anything yet. We haven't heard close. anything, it's getting close. Um, hopefully, they'll answer us. <clears throat> the winter tires and wheels were installed today. Great success. Bright sunshine and 25 degrees are no longer in, in an obstacle. So, Glenn, we were actually talking about this the, uh, yesterday. Do you plan on driving this car all year round? Because you put those wheels and tires on it. Because we were we were curious. Because um, obviously you bought the car to drive it, which we respect greatly. It's collect. It's a collector's edition. You got a rare bird, and I still haven't gotten a picture of the wheels on the car. So I'm kind of like disappointed in you right now. Just saying, like. You're slacking on me, bro. But but in the, in the snow, he's not gonna be driving the camera in the snow. He's got a Jeep. In the snow, Dave B sells Chevy. What's up, buddy? How you doing? It's going. He, yeah, Dave sell, uh, oh, works that's at the, the dude that works at the other mm -hmm. with the air fresheners. Yes, bro. We need to know where you got your air fresheners oh from. God. I was like, I want an air freshener with my face on it. No, I mean, not, not, clearly not this face, but. Like our our logo would be nice. <laughs> That's a face only yeah. that woman over there loves. <laughs> no. Right on, right on, bro. Yeah, we, we love your channel, dude. I wa I watch it all the time. Um, you're doing you're doing some great content. And if you haven't watched Dave's channel, he just commented, "Dave B sells Chevy." He does he does work at my sister's store uh, in Livingston. Um, great guy, and he. Uh, Go support his channel too. He does some great interviews. He just dropped the Blazer EV. Um, he he sold sold I guess the first one in New Jersey, um, if I'm not right. Uh, we need to do a collab video one day. Yes, for sure, hundred percent, hundred percent, brother. We would love we would love to do that. No dick. Wait, what? Oh snap! Well, I mean, twelve hundred a month. For a lease on a Blazer EV is a lot of money. Um, damn, I thought that happened. Okay, what got filmed? Something died. What? Uh, they let it get filmed in O2, and the Camaro got donated to charity. Yes, what? so what? that we are there's inklings of the final Camaro getting donated to charity. Um, so. We should know more in the coming weeks, um, but that is something in the deal. But yes, Dave, go check out his channel. Um, he does some oh, great videos. Okay. He's talking about the when it when it went last time. What do you mean when it went? Yeah, in two when, 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 when the camera disappeared. When it went on the yeah. last hiatus, hundred uh, percent. Also, uh, these these hats are not going to be for sale much longer, guys. These are not our hats. These are General Motors official license hats got camaro on the back obviously it's adjustable and has the, That's the side. camaro we're still working on uh, that kind of stuff Panther. guys like up down left right we'll, we'll get there we'll get there can't take this woman anywhere we'll get there i know um yeah we definitely need to do a collab dave that's for sure we would love to do that yeah uh feel free guys Post a brew question. We're going. We're we're at an hour now, so we're gonna be 
by cutting this short. Panther hat uh, hat pins would be cool. Well, we have Camaro cave pins. Um, not really hat size. There is hat size ones in there, though, but we got the big there ones. There is hat size ones in there. Um, we got the ones that we could, like, write on. So as of right now, G General Motors owns the trademark to the Panther name. Um, and this logo is official GM. So obviously we can't we infringe, really infringe on... Uh, yeah, we got to be careful with the cat. We can't infringe on copyright. <clears throat> um, so that's a thing. Rick Hendrick usually gets the first and last one. Well, Rick Hendrick is getting a ZL11 LE in Radiant Red, and that car is at 3,000 status, ready to get built, uh, and just got broadcast it. Uh, so if you want a ZL11 LE, it's going to Naples, he's Florida. talking about... I know, he's talking about the last car. He usually like, does, he but he usually... Them for his self. He does, and the money gets, own self. gets donated to charity. Um, <laughs> also... I want to say within a week or two, maybe we should know about the Garage 56 edition because there's been no talk whatsoever about the Garage 56 edition Camaro. And we know that they are going to get built at the end of production. So probably the week of um, December 4th is when the Riptide Blue <clears throat> Garage 56 editions are going to get built. And we will be the first people to bring you the news of what dealerships all those cars are going to, which we would assume, I mean, it's Rick Hendrick's car um, that raced on the 24 hours of Le Mans and that he's probably going to get most of them, um, but he can't get all of them because a lot of dealerships will be upset about that um, and that'd be lawsuits. Uh, so I'm sure other dealers will get them, but it'll be the same thing, just like the um, collector's edition ZL ones. If you sold a lot of Camaros in uh prior year sales you're going to get one of them but they're only building 56 cars so that is a thing yeah all right i feel like we should end it there we have house guests we do have house guests um parents garcia are over there in the corner uh playing cards tonight and has had them over for dinner so but on that note, guys, we do appreciate you watching the channel. Um, we are going to do more lives. Obviously, we, we enjoy talking to you guys and bringing you uh, the latest content. We also got more <laughs> videos to upload. Um, so if you're in the area, if you're in Pittsburgh area next week and you want us to come see your car, at least let us know. Send us a Camaro, um, a email to the Camaro Cave at gmail.com. Um, if we have time, we would certainly love to see your car. And if you're getting your car, if you get your car, email us pictures, video. We want to see it all, and we want to post it up for you guys. So definitely feel free. We're here for you guys, and that's what this channel is all about. So 80, I think. I'll post the route. I think we're She'll post 80. the route again, just like we did for when we went to Ohio. And if you guys are on the route, we can stop. We don't got a lot of time because we have a big interview to get to next week. We're driving six hours for you guys. Um, so make sure you you are ready for next week's interview with the great FBOD father, Scott Suttlemeyer, 50 years working for General Motors, the Camaro marketing manager, and the Camaro, you know, Camaro product manager, sorry, for Camaro, for the fourth gen the, and the fifth gen, and had a huge influence <laughs> in when the car went away and keeping the faith and the voice of Camaro online. I mean, he's a legend here in the Camaro community. And if you guys, we're just, we're just going to be sitting there you guys ask him the questions, and he will answer them all. Um, and, of course, we'll ask him the, what he believes Camaro's Camaro is going. means to him. And what Camaro means to him, our number one question that we ask everybody. So, Before we take off, though, if we could just have a moment of silence. We do have a viewer who lost his mother on Halloween. We do. Um, one of our Kentucky viewers. So... If we could just have a moment of silence for his mom. Awesome. May she rest in peace. And if everybody could keep Mr. Kentucky, is what most people know him by, in your prayers and thoughts and his family, that would be awesome. He will also be at Camaro Fest next year, and he will be very hard to beat because <clears throat> he always is. He is one, one. He cleans his car 
like crazy. Appreciate it, Glenn. Thanks, David. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next upload. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't. If you want to become a member, um, please go to our membership page. And if you want uh, the pinned post on top is last two days of our merch at 15% off. Every little bit helps, guys. I mean, li this thing's $2. Literally, this thing's $2. Make it as cheap as possible for you guys. Um, support us. We, we love you guys. And it's clear. And it's clear, too. It literally yeah. will stick on your... It's clear. Every, and I'm going to put it on the back of my computer, actually. Um, but we wanted to show you guys that. And obviously, if you're a coffee drinker, tea drinker, there's plenty of mugs, different colors. I went with the red in interior because our Panthers have a red interior. So kind of match. But we have all different colors. Check out. We got like over 60 products on our page. Um, get whatever you want, even if it's a $2 sticker. Every little bit helps, guys, and uh, we do appreciate it. Have a safe weekend. Safe weekend, guys. We'll bring you the next upload soon. Peace out. See you guys.